Hey, it's Tater Tots. Welcome to our channel. Um, I feel like the lighting is kind of bad. I think this will help our situation, and if it doesn't, I'm just kidding. You soon. I'm stealing myself. Howdy, corn lickers. A few weeks ago, we asked Andrew some guy questions that girls were too afraid to ask, and now we're flipping the tables. Oh, how the turntables turn. Where's that from? Shrek 3. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you knew. No, I don't think so. So I asked the guys to ask me some girl questions, and we're gonna have Andrew read them to me. If you guys want to participate in the next Q and A, make sure you follow us on Instagram. This is not my phone, by the way. <laughs> Let's start off with a real easy one. No pressure on the table. The size matter. <laughs> I'm not a really good example to ask because I don't have much experience with other sizes. This is so awkward. <laughs> you could have just said other guys. Other I don't have that much experience with other guys, so That's I don't, right. I don't really know. As we've all heard, it's all about the motion in the ocean and not the junk in the trunk. Just work it, you know? Deal breakers. Ooh. What do you think is one of my deal breakers? There's a lot of things I hate. Yeah, you don't like a lot of stuff. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm very picky. Maybe cocky. Mm -hmm. Guys who go to the gym and their entire Instagram is just straight gym selfies. Could you love yourself a little more? I mean, I wanted to speak. My entire Instagram is selfies. She oh. has a great sense of smell, so yeah, that smells good. True. I don't like when people have bad hygiene. That's just, you know, take a bath. I don't like when a guy is stupid. She likes I'm smarter than her, trust me. No, no one's smarter than me. Cocky. <laughs> Do you fart in front of your man? Against my will, he's made it happen. Taylor and I like, never farted in front of each other. Don't matter how comfortable I am with a girl, I ain't taping in front of her. Well, I'm a gentleman. And Taylor and I went through this phase where all we do is just fight each other, like really aggressively, like physically. One time I pinned her down and I put my head like on her stomach and she kept saying, no, stop, stop, stop. I do the headstand and all I hear is, Worst I, moment of my life. I don't like to fart on Andrew if he knows, but little does he know, I silent toot around him all the time. He just never smells it. Sometimes I go, how do you fart and you go? Yeah, but do you know how many times I actually fart around you that you've never noticed? <laughs> I don't want to know. You do know I'd be letting him out under the sheets like a Dutch oven. <laughs> do girls roast each other? Not the way that guys do. That's for sure. Guys are like on some other level with the roasting, at least Andrew's friend group. <laughs> They can go hours. Shout out the gang. Girls will playfully do it, but honestly what girls do, girls. girls will compliment each other like all the time. And we mean it. And guys' way of complimenting each other is- And you mean it? Guys, girls compliment don't mean it. No, I mean it when guys I- Guys roast and don't mean it. No, when I give compliments to my girlfriends, I mean it. Can I give an example? If I step out, I'm dressed up, my friends will go, Boy, like no matter what I wear, boy, you look like Johnny Bravo, boy. Your hair about big as shit. You've been wearing those jeans for 10 days, and then we all laugh when we go out to the bars. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, that's the prettiest shirt I've ever worn. And then you look. That's just how you use my stuff. I don't do that. That is not me. Some girls be like that. Do girls roast each other? Not really. You don't yeah. jump. You don't like. You don't, don't like. jump. What's the first thing girls notice about a guy? I noticed the face. The eyes, the jawline, the height. <laughs> if it's from a distance, the first thing is height though. And that's just the way it is. Cause you can't not see height. It's literally right in front of you. Why do girls get mad when you play video games? Asking for a friend. Okay. Oh gosh. Girls shouldn't get mad at their guys playing video games if it's in moderation. And if they didn't already have plans with their girlfriend, then it's fine. You know, Andrew, he lets out all of his little boy problems when he plays, he forgets the world, he talks with his boys, he'd be laughing, he'd be waking me up, and that's totally fine. Now, if me and Andrew had a plan to hang out and spend time together and he wants to go play Xbox, he's getting a boot up his butt. First off, I'm a PS4 <laughs> boy and I'll ride that till the end of time. What are girls flirting signs? If you're seeing a girl out and she looks at you, that's her shooting her shot, all right? Sometimes. And then also, if she laughs at your jokes a lot, you could be really funny, or she could think Chances that you're Chances are you're cute. not funny. If they touch you. Maybe that commenting on your Instagram pictures, if it's like in a roasty way. Back in the day, when we were in high school, I sent Andrew 
I screenshot of his Instagram post and I roasted his shoes and said, what are those? That was really funny. He said, boy, what are those? Yeah, I did tweet it. it was so He's funny. wearing some beat up shoes. They were gross. And, and my creek needed, shoes. They need to go in the trash. They need to go in the creek. <laughs> and they did. Do girls subconsciously feel pressured to get married? We wouldn't really know if it's subconscious. <laughs> No, we can't All access right, you get it, that. You get it. Anyway, but I know what you're saying. Girls do feel more pressure to get married because of our internal clocks. Our eggs will expire. Whereas guys can have kids when they're 90 years old. And then girls who don't want to have children, they probably don't feel that need as much. They're probably not in any more of a rush. We took family studies together in college. Yeah, we did. There's just a lot of factors. We came in late we every day with Duncan in our hand. Uh, we were that couple in a Dude, I would have hated class. us, honestly. We would walk in in a family studies class, level 100. We're like seniors. <laughs> like five minutes late every class. Why do girls like hands so much? Because they're sexy. Look at these hands. That's a big hand. Oh, this is another way to see if a girl's flirting with you. Oh my gosh, your hands are so big. Can we compare hand sizes? I feel objectified right now. I feel like a hog of lunch mate. What is a hog? You wouldn't know. <laughs> do girls only care about the outside of the boy? No. Girls shouldn't. If you do, you're gonna end up with a meathead, annoying, bad personality guy. Personality is so important. Looks attract my attention. Personality makes me stay. I think I heard that somewhere, but... I told you that. Oh, yeah. I've seen people who have a bad personality and they just look ugly to me after. Is wearing nail polish unattractive? To me, it's not unattractive, but it's also not something I seek out either. It's just like indifferent. Nail polish, like when guys wear like one pinky black. Or yeah, we're, we're all their nails. Like, it's like an e-boy rock star look. Harry Styles does it, Machine Gun Kelly does it, a lot of people do it. If a guy has confidence and he pulls it off, that's great. That's all that matters. Thoughts on man buns? I have a theory on man buns. There are guys that can pull off a man bun, but there is no guy in this world that looks better with a man bun than without one. And that is my truth. There are some girls that love it. I like this hair right here. This boy. Dude, I wanted a man bun for a little bit. I went through a fit at 2015. What is your biggest turn on when it comes to your boyfriend? My biggest turn on? You guys are gonna be on. here for a while. I'm a smooth walking snake boot wearing motherfucker. Do they mean physical turn on or mental turn on? You can name them all, sweetheart. Mental turn on? I love seeing Andrew in his element. He is a wonderful social butterfly. I like seeing him interact. <laughs> Sounds weird. I love when he plays with dogs. I love when he's getting stuff done. That's sexy to me. <laughs> I love it. Like kill streaks in Call of Duty? No. <laughs> Physical turn ons, I really like a touch. Like, I like when he touches my back and legs and everything. That's like. Touch is my love language. Give a back massage. Don't brush to the butt because then they think you just did it for a butt massage. And we all know we're, just, <laughs> we're doing it to touch the butt, but give it like a mental clock of like a minute and a half. Do girls like it rough or slow and passionate? It depends on the mood, <laughs> definitely. You're getting, getting X-rated. Because sometimes you want it one way, sometimes you want it the other way. That's a sexual. I'm so sorry, Mamma. Mamma's probably out there agreeing with me, actually. I'm not sorry, Mamma. She's a real one. Opinion on circumcised versus not. Okay, so I've never witnessed an uncircumcised. Witnessed? It's not a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen or known what. Again, limited experience for Taylor. If a girl really likes you, it shouldn't matter what is going on down there. It's like Fortnite. Doesn't matter what skin you use, as long as you get the kills. <laughs> skin? <laughs> I didn't even Ew, think of skin. That was so gross. <laughs> what is a good age to lose your virginity? Asking for a friend. A good age is when you're with the right person. I know some people who have been, um, been virgins for like a really long time, and they just want to lose it to someone they don't care who. And when I speak with them after, they almost always end up regretting their decision and wishing that they had waited. So if I have any advice to you, I would just say wait until you're with the right person. Whether you're a teenager or you're in your 20s, heck, you're in your 30s. Doesn't matter as long as it's the right person. Age does not matter with that kind of stuff. I think if you're in your 30s, you gotta fuck who you can. So I guess this is a girl asking a question now. Do we really have to worry about girls he follows on Instagram? You shouldn't have to if you trust him. And that's with any relationship. I know some girls who are a little bit, uh, what's the term for it? They have interesting values on that and they think their boyfriend should not follow any girls or like any girls' pictures. That's crazy. No. That's a little wild. That to me is like controlling and unhealthy. So oh wait, girls he follows? Yeah, bro. Don't be like that. If you're trying to shield your boyfriend from the fact that there are other girls in the world, you need to do some introspective look at yourself. Say he has motives and you make him unfollow a girl, you think, oh, the problem is gone. 
Yeah. Now he doesn't that is see so her. True. Boy, he's still looking. And if he's not, your best bet is to actually address the issue at the root. If you're a girl that doesn't like the idea of your boyfriend following certain people on Instagram, you need to ask yourself, is this a problem with me and my own insecurities? Or is this something that he has done to cause my insecurity? And if your boyfriend is doing sketchy things, get rid of him. And if you're feeling insecure for no reason, stop. Do's and don'ts on the first date. I've done some don'ts. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted kids. Just to, to make no, conversation. No, that wasn't on a first date, was it? It was like first or second date. Oh, uh, yeah. The... That was a long time ago, though. I've learned. So, well, Taylor was different. Taylor did not have a lot of social interaction before her. Male interaction. I suppress that. Do You do the girls, I'll do the guys. Okay, so if you're a girl, don't come on too strong because you'll scare him away. <laughs> we just think differently than guys do about this kind of stuff. We get really excited in our heads. We get like, ooh. It's so exciting. Downplay it. Also, this is my personal advice. If you really like the guy and see some sort of like future possibility with him, make him wait. If you're just trying to have a good time and you don't care, do you I don't like girl. to make him wait. Make him work for it. Like if you go on a date with this girl, right, and she just immediately is just all over you, like hooking up, like the thrill is gone, the chase is kind of gone. You might not even want to go on a second date. Like I have her whenever I want, I could just hit her up. That's true. But if she's like this, just kind of like, yeah, we can go on a second one. Guys, just eat that up. And guys, give them a taste of their own medicine. Play cool, that's what I'm meaning to say. Like, give them some space. What are the weirdest things you crave when you're on your period? Laughing face emoji. I don't get specific food cravings. What I do get is the desire to eat everything, and then I get the desire to eat nothing. Would you reject a man because he is bald? No. All right. <laughs> when I was in high school, I had a crush on a kid who had alopecia. It didn't matter. You had a crush on Kate in her time? Yeah, I did. I loved his calves. Yeah, boys they have really, crazy calves. They just were so nice. Why do boyfriends be so much thicker than us? Slash, do you slap Andrew's butt, laughy face? Because I'm definitely guilty with my boyfriend, lol. Of course I slapped this big, juicy, fat <sighs> rump. He's got the wagon. Cut, cut. <laughs> Their body is like, a higher muscle percentage and we have a higher fat percentage so their butts are just solid it just makes you wanna you know i don't think whoever wrote this knew i was gonna be reading it but do you ever feel like a guy should be putting more into a relationship parentheses your man's question mark i don't think i ever have felt like that have okay I? I don't know if you feel like that i think Fashion for the guys. Don't maybe take it personal and maybe say something. Maybe they just don't know. You kind of have to learn how to be a good boyfriend. Some might come natural, but when she gets back from something she was looking forward to, you naturally just think, I just want to keep playing video games. But you learn to be like, how did that go? Tell me about this experience. And I hope it went well. Thank you. Oh. Why do girls always go to the bathroom together? When we're in there, we're doing witching spells on men. We gather, we hold hands, we turn off the lights, and we light a candle. That shit kind of blows me. Why? Just go pee alone. No, we love it. <laughs> Vanessa, your stream is so strong. That's because I love Bradley. <laughs> the amount of memories I've made in a girl bathroom. Oh my gosh. No one is That's nicer. Sad. No one is nicer than girls at a bar after they've had something to drink in a bathroom. Or it's true. Opposite. It's a shame that people need to lubricate their personalities. Because some girls will be like judgy, but then when they're drunk, they're like, you know what? I've seen you and I don't really know what you're like, but you're just so pretty. And then you're like, <laughs> You're pretty too. And you guys are best friends, but it's like, you needed four shots of tequila to do that? I love being a girl. Girl culture. Worst pickup line you've ever heard. Andrew's giving me a thousand bad ones. That's so cap. In your country accent, you'll be giving me pickup lines all the time, and I love them. In general, I can't think of guys that use pickup lines. Maybe my DMs, I do get guys giving pickup lines. Someone asked you one before you. There was one I can think of. I was working at a sub shop back in the day and there was this guy and he just like annoyed me off rip i don't know why i just instantly felt annoyed by him that's my physical reaction to most guys i'm sorry that's just i feel repulsed by a lot of guys he came up to me and he was like yeah like i go to this local community college or whatever and i was like oh cool and he's like yeah i play football so i guess you could say i have a degree in quarterbacking that was the worst one I've heard. It made me cringe so bad. Don't be that guy. That was just, ew. Hairy or not? I like him hairy. <laughs> but not on the beard. I don't like a beard. I like a manly man. Who the fuck wrote this one? Does Andrew actually look like a T-Rex's toenail? Yes. <laughs> on average, how long does it take to do your makeup? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. If I'm filming a video doing my makeup, it takes like 40. Because I talk too much. Have you thought about creating an OnlyFans? No, I really haven't. But, um... 
I don't know, when you see those tweets of the girls making thousands of dollars for posting the same stuff they post on Instagram. If they're posting the same stuff as Instagram. It's like, I want to be doing dude, that. Dude, if you posted the same stuff as Instagram, I'd say go ahead and do it right now. And get but, it, but it's the stigma around it. You know, like, oh, yeah. regardless of anything, there's going to be a stigma around OnlyFans. And that's not part of my brand or image. And if that's part of your brand or image, that is fine. Everyone should have the freedom to do whatever they want. But, Taylor's yeah. a goody girl. I do want to create a Patreon, though. I've been thinking about that. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Do you find it is hard to have male friends because they always want to be more? No. Yeah, no, that's true. They all stay in their lane. I don't give off any sort of vibes that I'm into you ever. Like, I'm not a flirty type of girl. I'm quite the opposite. So, I think any guy that I've been friends with can read the room and just know that, like, we're friends and everything. Even back in my, like, high school and stuff, I didn't really give off a very, like, welcoming, flirty vibe. So, many people never even tried it with me. Do you think some girls are more attracted to men in a relationship than single ones? I think there are some girls like that. Of course, it's always the duty of a person in their actual relationship to not cheat. There are also some people that go after taken people. I have seen it in my personal life. Not with me, but I've seen it happen to people that I know in my life and um, it's awful. Don't be that girl. I think girl code is don't go after guys that are in relationships. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Maybe don't. I've heard of actually people though that have kind of owned it and been like, dude, they weren't in a very good relationship and I shot my shot. You know, like you've supported Jim on the office. Yeah, no, but the question is not if you're going after the love of your life and they're in a toxic relationship. It's talking about the type of girls that purposely seek it out. Oh, yeah. There no, are yeah, types yeah, of I mean, girls like that. If you wouldn't be attracted to them while they're single and then you are while they're taking us. Not the best look. Slutty guys are a turnoff? Question mark? To me, and this isn't everyone, yes. But I don't want to like speak against anyone who likes to be very sexually active. That's not the way that I like to roll. That sounded so white. Since that's not the way that I roll, I would like my partner to be similar. Here's the difference. If you have a guy who only really sleeps with girls that he likes or has a connection with, if you guys are dating and you go on a break, he's probably not gonna go bang the first girl he sees. Versus the type of guy who just does it with any girl that they possibly can, he would be more likely to do that. I don't shame. I know a lot of guys are just wild, and, but you don't even like her. Just don't do it. Just grab this guy right here and some lotion. <laughs> And the same, it's the same end result. If you don't like her, it's the same end result. Let's say hypothetically, I'm removed from the equation. If a guy with a relatively high body count talked to you and like seemed like he was head on straight, you'd probably be willing to overlook yeah, it. Yeah, it's not a deal breaker. But this was if it's like a good thing or a bad thing. Girth or length? Both. Well, let's say it's either a pencil stick, long and skinny, foot long, this skinny, or it's a chicken noodle soup can, this tall, that yeah. wide. Long and skinny. Okay. Yeah. That was the video. If you made it this far, comment OMG question number 34 though. Who agrees with question 34? No, no, no. Comment bruh that one question. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because we're all gonna know it's like an inside joke with us. Whatever. Everyone, everyone like, else can be like, which question? And you can vary it up a little bit too if you wanna be like, wow, that one question. Yeah. Jeez, that one question. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Au revoir. See ya. We can keep it low key, maybe play some lo fi, maybe eat some lo mein, chicken with the stir fry. We can have a night, you should make a plan to stay. We can grab a bite, go and watch some anime. We can keep it low key, maybe play some lo fi, maybe eat some lo mein, chicken with the stir fry. We can have a night, you should make a plan to stay. Fuck a label, baby, I'ma be a man today.